The sun is coming up again Looking like it's gonna be a problem Cause I'd be lying to you if I said this ain't a thing and I've been looking Did you hear what's up? Welcome or welcome back. So obviously by the title of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys multiple ways you can customize and organize your MacBook. I came up with all of these very easy and fun ways to customize your MacBook. So I'm gonna be talking about stickies and how you can use those on your screen. Accent colors, if you don't know what that is, I suggest you guys watch it. The analog clock screensaver, folder icons and how you can change change the little icons of your folder, how to hide and show your dock, how to show the date at the top of your computer screen. And then last but not least, I'm gonna share with you guys how you can make a super cute collage wallpaper that is personalized to what you like. Before we get started, I really wanted to thank Julia K. Christ for inspiring me to start filming this video. I wanted to film this video for the longest time, but I didn't know who was gonna watch it. And then when she uploaded her video, I was like, thank you so much for starting the bandwagon. So I'm hopping right on it and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get on with number one. This is my entire computer like screen. We're starting off with stickies on the side. As you guys can see, I have like a cute little calendar and I have my to-do list. Yep, we're doing that right now. <laughs> How can you get that to pop up on your desktop? So what you do is you go to down here, you go to launch pad and you open it up and usually it'll be in like the second row. This is the first gallery and you just swipe until you see the stickies icon and you open it. It'll load in as a yellow, not really cute <laughs> little sticky note. So first thing you can do is you can change the color by going up here to this tab color and you can change it. I really like the gray because it's neutral. You can change the sizing of it by extending it when these two little arrows pop up. And you can just write something cute, like welcome. How can you change the size and the font? So changing the size, you can click Command Plus and it'll just, until you have your desired size. Your font, just highlight the word, go up here to fonts and show fonts. I really like to use American Typewriter Light it just gives it this super cute. Obviously, you can choose whatever fonts you want. This is just my favorite one. And it just looks super cute. You can center it by like doing that, spacebar, and there you go, you're done. You're probably wondering, how did I add that really cute calendar on my stickies? So what I do is I go to Google and I search up like July calendar 2020 roll until you find the one you like this is the one i use i love this cursive font you save it as whatever okay so i brought it out to my desktop so that you guys can easily see it then click on stickies and you can just make a new note by going to file new note and it'll render in as a yellow one you can still change the color and everything how do you add it into there obviously when you just drag it off your desktop and put it into the sticky it is so big it's not the size you want it. So what you do is you open it into preview and command minus to zoom out and see what size you want it. I really like this size. So then you're gonna screenshot by using command shift four, opening up this like target and then you just like pull it across the screen. It'll pull it up on your desktop right here and then you just pull it and drag it and you can resize the sticky so that it looks Better. And there you go, you have a super cute calendar. Obviously you can't like write on it, but it's super cute and it just looks amazing. Next I have accent colors. Accent colors are when you like click on the top and you see this like color, it's like blue. That's what an accent color is. So how do you change that color? First you go to system preferences and you just go to general and accent color is right here it's obviously set on blue that's the normal one that you guys are probably you've seen more often um there's also pink and orange green you can literally do whatever i really like this orange tone because it goes with my wallpaper so i'm just gonna keep it orange and now when you click at the top everything like just turns orange so it is super cute and it can really go a long way when you customize your mat. Okay, so now I have my analog clock and how did I 
upload it to my computer and make it look super cute and everything so first you go to philclo.com and it's right here it looks super cute and everything it'll take you here and all you have to do is scroll down until you see the mac version and it's zero dollars so it's free to download all you have to do is just download it and you're just gonna open it until it does all this opening attaching and refreshing thing it's gonna come here you're gonna want to install it obviously i already have it downloaded but you would click this to install it and then you would go to desktop and screensaver and you'd find it down here and you can change the timing and I'm just gonna do like one minute to show you guys. Um, I don't recommend that you choose the show with clock because it'll pop up with a little thing right here. So this is what it would look like and it just comes up with this little thing in the corner, which you don't want. So I just like to remove it and just, it'll look so appealing. Okay, next we have folder icons. I bet you guys have been eyeing the ones right here. Um, these are just my stuff that I use. I made them into little stars and you're probably wondering how I did that. So first you can go to my blog which is ggjolie.wordpress.com. I have everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video on here. For this section of the video you just have to go to icons and download your very own. I made multiple colors. So if you let's say you want this black and white star one, you just click the download button, right click, save image as. It's now down here as a PNG. I'm just gonna make a new folder and this is probably what the new folder looks like. I'm just gonna name it. Yay, there we go. It's blue and boring. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna come here and command A to select it and command C to copy it. What you're gonna do is right click on the folder and click get info and all of this opens up. You're gonna highlight the little file icon and you're just gonna command V, paste it and now it's a beautiful little star icon. You can do this with literally any picture. Make sure to check out my blog to get this free icon that you don't have to pay anything for it'll be all linked in the description and there'll be more to come with different shapes sizes and everything else so next up we have the dock so you're probably wondering how did i get the dock to disappear and appear whenever i click on it or like scroll over it first you have to go to system preferences you're going to go to dock right here you're going to check box the automatically hide and show the dock and it'll just go away as soon as you check that off and there you go so yeah it's very easy and it just makes your screen a lot less cluttered there's less just stuff like showing and it just gives it like this minimalistic look which i love you're probably always wondering what the date is but it only tells you what day it is so you can easily do this by clicking on it and click open date and time preferences which will load you to this page. Then you just checkbox the date options that says show the date. And there you go, it's Tuesday, July 21st. It's so easy, like a little thing goes a long way. It'll help you along the way when you're doing stuff. I definitely recommend. Last thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the wallpaper. You're probably like, this is super cute. You want one or a different color scheme. Don't worry, I got you. You're gonna go to my blog again. Shameless self promo. You're gonna go to design freebies and scroll down to go to the Mac screensavers. I have made multiple different color schemes for you guys to choose. They are so cute. I love them so much. All these pictures are from Pinterest. I just chose pictures off Pinterest and made a cute little collage. Again, you can easily download these and they're free. Let's say I wanted to do this pink one, the Just Peachy. Right click, save image as, Just Peachy screensaver. And then here it is. You can easily right click on it and click set desktop picture or you can go through to the settings and go to desktop screensaver and select your desktop screensaver but i just find it easier to just right click on the picture and click set desktop picture and there you go obviously the color scheme is a lot different but 
I really like the orange one, so I'm going to send it back to that. Yeah, we're back to normal. I really like this color scheme. It's just, it also matches my photos, which is so cute. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I gave you a lot of fun, free information in this video, so make sure to help me back by clicking the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!